How you doing YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a mystery beer, joint mystery beers with this guy over here. Who are you? I'm Keith from 93 Lumber. 93, son. 93. Yeah. First mystery beer, huh? Yeah. Wait, did you do a mystery beer brew to a palooza? Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so first joint between us. Uh, yeah. Keith just started his channel not too long ago, so go check him out. I'll link it down below because I don't think it comes up in the... Um, YouTube search yet? I don't think so. Um, but we're going to be doing a uh, little bit of mystery beers from N5? Yeah, NJ. NJ, oh, what did you, uh, is that what you called it last yeah, time? Yeah, NJ? Yeah, because this is the first can I, I looked at. It. I was like, NJ. <laughs> New Jersey mystery beers uh, from the boys over at NerdSense. They sent off a big box of beer to Keith. They threw in a couple of mystery beers for both me and him. And we figured, uh, we figured, we figured we'd uh, do these jointly. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what this beer is. Keith thinks it's a stout. Yeah. I think it might be macro beer. Because I think they want to fuck with us. So we have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So what, let's call it out of, the, out of the shoot. What do you think it is? Yeah, I think it's some high ABV stout or, or something. I think it's natural ice. Yeah, <laughs> something along those lines. Okay, let's go. All right. First round goes to Keith. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, that's macro lager. That's totally macro lager. Good God. Look at that. Motor oil. <laughs> Motor oil. That's yeah. what that sucker is. There's very there's very few beers I've seen thicker than, than this. Yeah, I mean, and here's the thing. For, uh, knee jerk first reaction, I'd want to say it's a black is beautiful beer, but we're dealing with a 12 ounce can. I don't know. I'm sure there's some that are out there in there 12 are, ounce cans. Yeah. But because um, it just that's kind of a theme thing that's been going around for us. But uh, yeah, what are you getting from just peeking at it? I don't know. There's there's something flown around in it. Yeah, so I, there's bits and pieces. Yeah. I don't know. I got. Uh, yeah, it's a stout of some sort. My head dissipated mad quick. Yeah, I feel like there's something in this. But here's the thing, why didn't yours? I don't know. So, let's do this. Is it the same beer? I don't know. <laughs> here's the thing, is this the same beer or is it the same beer with a different variant? Oh. Maybe that's what's going on. Can we, when you have um, like big head dissipation like this, typically it has to do with two things, either an adjunct, uh, a lot of times coconut does that to beer, really kills the head on something. It could be dirty glass, could have soapy kind of glass going on, but I don't think that's the case here. Um, my wife washes my glasses, which means they're actually clean as opposed to when I do them. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know, man. But it's a stout. It looks like a big old double digit stout. Right yeah, but yours is going to cling around with the edges. Mine is completely, utterly oh, oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you'll still have that ring around a rosy thing going on for a while. So, anyway. No, no clinking. COVID. Yeah. I want to say peanut butter, but I definitely don't get peanut butter. I definitely don't get peanut butter. What I think it I, might not be peanut, like a nutty thing. A nutty that thing. I can get down nutty. with nuttiness, like not a hazelnutty, nutty. almond nutty kind yeah, of nutty maltiness. Yeah, yeah. Not peanut. Not peanut butter, but. I don't know, man. This can go in a bunch of different directions. It might even be a barrel beer because there's this soft kind of mm. like fruity cherry kind of liquor -y thing going on, but it's not hot by any stretch of imagination. I want to, let's, I'm, I'm gonna look at the bottom of the can because I think it's obscured. Yeah. I'm guessing this beer has time on it. I think this might have a little bit of age on it. I think it's, cause it's not huge. It's not gigantic, but I think it's gonna be a big ABV beer. So that makes me think maybe it has a year or so, maybe even longer on it, to where it's kind of like rounded out and became a little bit softer, even though it's a big beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm definitely getting like double digit vibes from this a little bit or close to that. It has very much for me, it has like a, um, an adulty, an adult version of dessert, like a marzipani kind of, cr it's not creme brulee level sweet, but it's this kind of like adult chocolate, cake it's it's not kids cake where it's sugar and sugar and sugar there's there's something else to it that's the way it's kind of coming off to me it's like a multiple levels of chocolate and like creme kind of stuff not saying there's lactose in it but it could be a heavily oated thing that's how it works for me you said the cherry thing and now i'm getting like some like between like like a like a 
chocolate covered cherry and like but like with like hazelnut or something something in there yeah yeah i can get that it's almost like a, like i think it, and that's the thing it's like german chocolate cake with hazelnuts on yeah. top drizzled with cherry sauce <laughs> yeah. but the chocolate is still the biggest part for me it's like mm. it's 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 not S- milk chocolate it's not baker's chocolate it's like a semi-sweet kind of cakey chocolate that's not over top i gotta drink this thing man cheers cheers hmm that made nothing easier yeah it's got a big roasted component to it for me It's very, very, very sweet. But that roasted part kind of reels it back in a little bit for me and makes it, it's still sweet, but it, it just doesn't go over the top because of that. And I still get that kind of cherry liqueur thing. It's more cherry liqueur. I call it the grandma kind of candy thing. When you get that, the you know, the <coughs> what is the box? The Whitman's chocolate. And you take the foil, the, the plastic key legend off, and then you take the cherry cordial one. It's like dark. Bavarian chocolate with like a cherry liqueur in the middle. That's kind of how it's coming off to me. Yeah. See, I would never think to say that, but that's like kind of exactly what it is. <laughs> and it, but it's got this dusty bitterness on it. It's almost like you sprinkled like charred chocolate onto it. Like a, the, like there's a part of the chocolate that was overly toasted, overly roasted. The to- cocoa bean was roasted a little bit too much or something like that, which makes me think it's Russian Imperial Stout. It's got to have bourbon in it, man. It's got to. This has to be bourbon barrel aged. There's not, I'm not getting a ton of barrel, but I'm getting this multiple levels. Actually, I'm getting a little bit of kind of that charriness, I think might be the barrel. And I'm getting this kind of, I'm getting this coconut vanilla thing that I don't think is an addition. It could be an addition because of the way the head kind of landed on mine. So maybe his, and that's why I think it might be a different beer. Yours might be a bourbon barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout with whatever mine might be the same beer with maybe coconut added or something because i'm getting a big coconut vanilla thing. i'm not getting coconut vanilla yeah but my coconut and vanilla thing for me is comes off very much like a barrel for me it doesn't taste like added coconut it tasted like coconut coming from a barrel but kind of walking it back to the beginning i still think this has age on it i'm not Mm. talking it's years old years like five years old i think this has a year or so on i could be wrong or it spent a lot of time in the barrel or i don't know but i don't know i'm i'm not really getting like barrel aged thing this tastes like to me it's it's less it tastes less barrel aged and more like it's like 18 (laughs) percent That's, me, that's like the vibe that I'm, I'm... Give me your can. Oh. You poured the whole goddamn thing out. It's 12 ounces. <laughs> there's some in mine. Oh. <laughs> I was going to taste his um, to see if there's any kind of difference and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, even yours, I, mean, I don't know if mine looks a little, like a little murkier or something, darker. Yours has a little browner tint to it. Does, that your, could be refl- does yours have floaties in it? No. I've got like... I think that's why I thought peanut butter, because I was thinking about that one peanut butter beer that uh, Kyle from No Hype sent me, and it was just chunks, chunks, chunks on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, let's reel this home. We just talked about, before recording this, we talked about the, the going, like, 10, 15 minutes beer review. But, uh... <laughs> mm. What do I think this is? I think this is a... Uh, bu- 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 bourbon barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout with coconut at 13.2% alcohol by volume with a year and a half to two years on it. What do you, what do you think? Uh-huh. I'd say I'd say it's an Imperial Stout. I want to say it's like 13 plus. And uh, yeah. I don't know. I think there's something in it. Some sort of nut thing, maybe? But yeah. Peel out, 13 plus percent. Some sort of nut addition. And yeah, that's what I would... Done and done. That's what I would say. Let's see. Oh, this is yours, actually. Right? No, this is mine. No, it has some left in it. That's right. 
Okay, let's see. Let's let's catch brewery real quick. Uh, We're gonna get it wrong. What's up there? I want to lean into Jack's Abbey, like some kind of lagered Baltic porter. I don't think this is Framing Hammer, but I, I don't know. The twelve ounce can makes me want to think uh, Jack's Abbey. Who does twelve ounce cans anyway? I don't know. Anyway, that's, that's, fine. That's, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. That's what I'm like, I have no idea. Prairie. Oh. Same beer. It's Imperial Stout brewed with coconut and vanilla. Okay. 13%, so we're right on ABV. I honestly thought there was a uh, there was a bit of... Oh, it doesn't tell you the actual batch number. I fucking hate batch numbers. It, this is funny, because I was going to say... Well, it's not really that funny, but like, this reminds me of uh, Stillwater Ar Artisanal, Artis whatever, however you pronounce it. Yeah. Uh, they're on fleek. Yes, I remember having that. Yeah. This remi this reminds me of that, but I didn't say it before. So he's lying. He's just trying to cover his ass. For what reason? I don't know. Because that wouldn't make any. It wouldn't well, make. I mean, the, it's not that beer, but. And I mean, I guess. Co Today I learned that coconut isn't actually a nut. It's actually technically a stone fruit. So, so. <laughs> this is what he brings. Go check him out, 93 Lumber. So uh, that's probably what the nutty thing is. I, I don't think. Yeah, I could have sworn this is a little bit older version of beer. I'm kind of curious to see what this for, for those playing home, playing, keeping score at home is what I'm trying to say. Uh, is batch number one zero one zero eight one? I don't know what that actually means. Because that doesn't make any sense. I doubt they've made 1,081 batches of this beer. So, I, I mean, I assume maybe there's a date in there. I get I get the vanilla now. I get it. I understand. Well, the vanilla I never have an issue with. Because I can get vanilla from a heavily oat edition. Mm -hmm. I can get that. But it's the coconut that really drove it home. It was that red cherry note, which you can get from an imperial stout um, in general without actually having bear bleached. But with it, how big of ABV it was, I thought it was a combination of... A, a barrel aged burn barrel aged thing that kind of lost its edges so even though i'm wrong i'm okay with what i said uh the coconut was probably the most kind of Actually, apparent portion if, of the show if you combine what we said we were kind of yeah. correct yeah. We, were, we, were kind we complete of... each other is what he's saying <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um <laughs> and uh i'm I, listen prairie makes great stouts uh barrel aged stouts but they also make just huge barrel aged stouts, so I don't drink them that much. It's like, hey, you want to drink some prairie? Oh, you can pick either this one beer that's been shelf hurting for nine years. That's a that's a session IPA, or we have nineteen bombs that you can buy for fucking ten dollars a can. You know, it, it, it's one of those things where I don't drink them often enough. Actually, I have a prairie uh, mystery beer in my uh, in the in the, in the can right now. So the, these might have to go up together. Uh, so that way, one, it goes up new, and two, it goes up quick. So this guy can get some followers. Go just fucking follow this motherfucker. Yeah. Right now, what, how many followers you got? 26, 28? 27. 27. Look at that. Thank I'm you. always right on the edges, never exact. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so go check him out. By the time this posts, if he doesn't have 40, then I'm, I'm shutting the channel down. I'm shutting it down. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a fun beer. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Sean? Nerd sense. Go check those guys out. Thank you for the beer. Yeah. What more do you want? Uh, let's, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about the beer in general. Is this one of the better adjunct stouts that you've had as of late? Mm -hmm. I would say. I would say based on. I would say for ABV, yes. I would say for adjuncts, no, because I've had way more feel like it could be more coconut and vanilla. But I like it. I, I do like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. and uh, But it's not like the best one I've ever had in the history of mankind. But honestly, like I said, I kind of joked at it. It's not like I drink a lot of big ABV stouts as of late, so it's almost going to default to that because I just don't drink them, you know. Um, but it's, it's well done stuff. Value and availability on this one, I have no idea. I'm guessing this is a non-barrel aged prairie. I'm guessing six to eight bucks. That's what they usually go for, right? The non-barrel aged stuff. The bombs go for like ten to thirteen a can. The non-barrel aged stuff goes for like uh, six to eight, I think. I don't know. I think they sell these in four packs for like I don't know, fifteen bucks. Or okay. Something. See, I only see these ever in singles. 
I never see them in four packs. Oh, these? I don't know. No, I'm I sure they come in a four pack, but the places I go, they break oh. them up and sell them individually. Oh, yeah. When they break them up individually, they're like twice, yeah. twice the price per yeah. can. Um, uh, distro, obviously, um, yeah. because Prairie, that's all they do, really. And, and uh, what else? What else we got? Oh. Uh, if you like what we like this, if you like huge adjunct stouts. It's a pastry stout in the lowest sense of the oh. word, vanilla and coconut. It's not like candy bars or anything I, like that. I but. do like the label. I think the label is cool. What does it remind you of? Uh, remind, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Exactly. That's <laughs> what, the words that were going to come out of my fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they nailed it, what they were trying to go for on this. Yeah. It's called Paradise, by the way. Yeah. Paradise. Imperial Stout Brewed with Coconut and Vanilla. There you go. Yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Mystery beers. So, mystery beers we can only do if you, you send them to us, because that's mm. how we scumbag free beer. Um, and uh, <laughs> you can send me all the mystery beers you want, but you should really send this guy some mystery beers and test his shit, because yeah. he just started his channel. Listen, this dude, his first video on his channel was an unboxing. It's like he's getting beer <laughs> before his channel even starts. So, uh, so yeah, if you want to yeah. check out, uh, send out some mystery beers, you can contact me, contact him, or contact me to contact him. Either way, it works. Um, if you want to check us out doing uh, doing everything else, you can check Keith out. Where, where do they find you? 93 Lumber on uh, YouTube. It's spelled out. But I, I think if you search with the number 93, it'll come up maybe if it even comes up. It's down there. We'll put it And down. then on Instagram, you can follow me at hashtag Kiflife. That's spelled out. So H-A-S-H-T-A-G-L-I-F-E. And that's on Instagram. It'll be down there too. And uh, yeah. Me, the type massive beers on the internet. You know where it goes. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying some mystery beers right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.